there, Morgan with the Vinancer here, and today I'm making this space-inspired balloon pillar. If you don't have a wall to hang decorations on, this is a great way to add a lot of wow to your party setup without needing a wall to build it off of. So follow along and I'll show you how I made this. The bulk of this pillar is made up of black, blue, and silver balloons, and today I'm using an assortment of 16, 11, 9, and 5 inch balloons, but you could absolutely make this entire thing out of 11 and 5 inch balloons. I also have some orange balloons in 11 and 5 inch, plus some 260s in silver to make some additional planets. I'll be embellishing this column with some 5 inch mylar stars, 16 inch silver foil letters which spell out the name of the recipient of this column, as well as some silver table skirting which I'm just going to use a 6 inch section of that to make some shooting stars in this arrangement. I'm also using some glue dashes, a pair of scissors, a hand pump, and my electric inflator to make inflation really easy. The base of this column is made up of 10 quads, but to give this an organic feel, I'm going to make each of those quads a combination of different sizes and colors. Blue is going to be my primary color, and I'll make sure there's blue in every quad, but I'll sprinkle in with that some black and silver balloons. Once all the balloons are inflated to various sizes, I'm going to take two of those and tie the nozzles together, and that's going to create a pair. I'm then going to grab a second pair and twist the two of those together so that the nozzles touch, and that will create a quad. I'm just going to continue the step until I have 10 quads that are all various sizes and color combinations. In a similar fashion, I'm going to create 5 quads using only 5 inch balloons or 5 and 9 inch balloons that all attach to the column giving it the organic look. Right now, I'm just going to focus on making them different sizes and color combinations. Next up is to make some orange planets to embellish the column, and I've got an 11 inch orange balloon that I'm just going to fully inflate and then let enough air out until that balloon is nice and round. The rounder this balloon is, the more convincing your planet is going to look. Next, inflate a silver 260, so there's just a little bit of tail on the end of this balloon uninflated. I'm going to burp that balloon and then tie it off, and then bring your orange balloon back over, and we're going to wrap the silver balloon around the center of that orange planet. We want to make sure this is nice and snug, and then twist those two tails around each other, tuck one underneath to lock it in place, and then I'm just going to nip the end of those two tails to release the air, tie them off, and then cut away any remaining tail so it's nice and clean. If for any reason the ring around your planet isn't wanting to stay in place, you can always add a glue dash right to the center of your balloon underneath where that ring sits and that'll help hold it in place. I'm then just going to repeat these steps so I've got 5 planets in total using my 5 and 11 inch orange balloons so I've got lots of planets in different sizes. Next up, I'm going to inflate my foil letters, and now this is a totally optional element, but I think it adds such a personal touch to this design. The letters I'm using today are 16 inches tall, and they have a self-sealing valve on it, so I'm just going to use my hand pump and gently inflate this until it's nice and taut, but you don't want to over-inflate your foils because they are easy to rip if there's too much air pressure on those. So once I've got it to a nice fill level, I'm just going to pull my pump out, and because it's self-sealing, I don't have to worry about doing anything to that valve but I'm not in love with the valve just hanging free so I'm gonna put a little glue dash on the back side of that valve and then adhere it to the back of my letter that way you won't be able to see this valve in the finished design and I'm just gonna repeat this with all of my foil letters before moving on to the mylar stars it's important to note that these mylar stars do not have a self-sealing valve. Most of the small balloons don't tend to have that, so once I get this inflated, I need to have my own way of tying this off. Now you could just tie the nozzle into a knot, but it's not going to give you a really good seal, and it's potentially going to deflate a lot quicker than if you heat seal it. So this is a heat sealer, and they're really easy to pick up off of Amazon or any balloon website, and I'm just going to put two little heat seals on this, holding them for about 5 to 10 seconds until you get that nice seal across the bottom, and then I'm going to stick the tails up just like I did with the letters. Now let's assemble this column, and to build my column I'm using my balloon base sand that I made myself, and I'll have that video linked for you so you can make one too. I'm going to take my first quad and put two balloons around that center pole, and then the two balloons that you put around the pole, you're going to twist those together, and that's going to lock your quad into place. Now I'm going to grab my next quad and do the exact same thing, 
and once you've got that quad locked onto the pole, you want to make sure the balloons in your current quad are nestled right between the balloons of the lower quad. So you're slowly going to have a spiral all the way up your column of these balloons nestled between each other. You also may want to give it a little gentle push down and that's going to make sure your balloons are nice and snug. Now because this column is organic in nature and my balloons are all different sizes, I want to be aware of my color placement and the balloon size placement. So as I continue to add layers, I do want to be aware of keeping the current layer level. So if you've got a big balloon on one side, you may want to put small balloons on top of it so that it goes up in an even manner. Once I've got all 10 quads onto the pole, it's time to give this column an even more organic look. I'll accomplish that by adding all my tiny quads to the sides of my column in a wavy formation, and that's going to give it a more organic look. So to add my tiny quads, I'm just going to be using a couple of glue dashes and securing it to the main column. I'm going to put one dash on a balloon and attach it to the column and then see where all those other balloons of that quad land and then put one or two more glue dashes so that it's nice and secure to the main part of the column. I'm then going to repeat this step until I've got all of my tiny quads attached to the column and I'm really happy with how it's looking. I wanted to pop in and let you know that I have a balloon recipe to go along with today's project. This is a downloadable PDF that includes detailed supply lists, illustrations, and written step-by-step -step instructions to get you through the entire project. I'll have it linked below in my shop, or if you join my Patreon at my party beaker level, you'll have access to not only today's balloon recipe, but my entire library of digital products. So check out my Patreon membership or the shop below if you'd like to up your party game. And until then, let's get back into the project. To the front side of my column, I'm gonna add all my foil letters. And I found it was easiest to put one glue dot on the letter first, place it where I wanted it, and then see where that foil letter touched any other balloons, and that informed me on where I should put my additional glue dots. So I worked my way all the way down with the letters, making sure I kept my letters really vertical so they're easy to read. The final step is to add in all the embellishments I inflated earlier. So the planets and stars, I'm just gonna go around and evenly distribute those across the column using a couple of glue dots each. And on a couple of my stars, I actually added in that table skirting you saw at the beginning to give it the look of a shooting star. And that's it. This column is ready for a fun little astronaut. I hope you're inspired by today's project. With a few simple embellishments, we were able to take a basic balloon pillar and turn it into something really special. If you enjoyed today's project, hit that like button and subscribe below. I'd love to have you join my creative community as I do all kinds of party setups, event tutorials, and balloon projects just like this one. And until the next time, you can check out some of my other projects over here. And remember, stay creative everyone. Bye.